Holy children, this is your Father in heaven speaking with you now. The I am of all creation, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. My children, when was the last time you reached out a hand of love to those in need? When was the last time that you were selfless, my children? When was the last time you cared about someone else apart from your own needs, your own wants and desires? My children, when was the last time you read my Holy Bible? When was the last time you came to me on bended knee? When you surrendered to my Holy Son, Jesus, and asked for forgiveness on your souls? When was the last time you stopped in your busy days and thought of your God? When was the last time you prayed, my children? My children, if only you knew the results of your actions upon the earth. Do you not know that every action, every word, every deed, every desire even, is recorded by me? That one day you will have to account for every word that comes out of your mouth, for everything that you do upon the earth? My children, do you wish to be a sheep or a goat upon your planet? Do you wish to help those in need? For when you do so, you also help me. Or do you wish to be greedy and hold all of your wealth to yourselves? My children, I am watching you every day. I see your lives pan out before you. I see all that you do. I see your hearts. I see those who are washed clean in the blood of my son. And I see those who are still covered in darkness, who are shrouded by sin. My children, I see your motivations. I see your lust and your greed, the evil that lies in the hearts of man. But oh, my children, how I long for you still. How I long for you to come home to me, to your Father, to your God, to the one who loves you above all things. How I long for you, my children. How I long for your love. How I long for you to have you back in my arms. I want you to think about your own children and how much you love them and how you would do anything for them how you want to protect them and keep them safe. Think about how you discipline them when they are bad, my children. Think about how you try to pull them back into line when they go off the straight path. Think about how much your heart aches for them. My children, do you think that it would be any different for me? It is so much greater for me, my children, for they are so you are so many and so vast. You are my holy creation. I created you in my image. You are a part of me as I am a part of you. And yet many of you rebel against me on a daily basis. Many of you allow hatred to shine forth from your hearts. Many of you do not care about me or your fellow man. You are so drowned in your arrogance and your pride. You are so lost in a world full of sin. You allow the things of the world to weigh you down, to distract you from my love. You've lost all aspects of tenderness from your souls. Do you not remember when you were children? Do you not remember how close we were? How you could still see the angels? how you believed in me, heart and soul. My children, you walk away from me as you grow older on in your earth, as the things of your world distract you from the truth and drag you away from me and my kingdom. Once, my children, we were so very close. Once you loved your God. Once there was no doubt in your hearts about me and my existence about eternity and eternal life. 
Oh, how far you have wandered from me, my children. How far you have wandered from love, from the love of your God, from the love of eternity. Come back now. Come back into my arms. Come and walk in eternity with me again. Come and walk in the cool of the day with your God. Talk with me, my children. Be close to me again as we once were. I am inviting you back into my arms. I have sent my Holy Son, Jesus, to you to reconcile you to me so that we can be one again, so that you can have my peace again once in your heart, so that you will no longer be lost in a world full of sin. I will remove all anguish and despair off your souls, my children. I will take away your pain and your sorrows, your sadness and your grief. I will remove everything from you, my children. I will lift you up and anoint you in all ways. I will bless you with great abundance. I will give to you all things. My children, I will be a light shining from your souls if you allow me to. You will be a testimony about me, my children. Your life will turn around suddenly and you'll be able to say that my God did this for me. I want to be close to you, my children, once again, just as we were when you were first born upon your world, when you were full of such innocence, such hope, when you were still connected to your God. Come back to me again, my children. Come back to your God. Do not walk away anymore. Do not wander off the straight path. Do not wander on the path that leads to death. Oh, my children, how it pains me to see so many of you wandering on the wide path of destruction. You delve yourselves into the things of the world. You love the world, my children, many of you. Many of you have surrendered to the world and its ways. Many of you are so wrapped up in the world that you forget about me. You forget about your God. You forget about the relationship that we had, the love that we share the glory that I have given to you as part of your inheritance in Christ Jesus. My children, come back. Come back again to your God. Do not deny me before men, or Jesus would deny you before me. If you do not know my son, you do not know me. You cannot come to me. You are not reconciled to me. I sent him to you, my children. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the way to me. He died for your sin. I want you to stop and think about this, my children. All of you have sinned, and all of you have fallen short of the glory of God. Back in the old days, before Jesus came upon you, your world, you had to give sin offerings to me, my children, burnt offerings, for your forgiveness. But now my Holy Son has died on your behalf. You no longer have to do this. His blood was shed on your behalf. His blood was shed for you, my children. He died for you. He died so that you could come to heaven. He died to reconcile you back to me. Can you understand this, my children? This is not difficult. It is very, very simple. I've given you all things. I've given you my Holy Bible. I place my Holy Spirit within your souls. My very DNA is within you, my children. Every cell in your body contains the God code, my code. The code of your living God is within every cell in your body. Do you understand, my children? The knowledge is within you. I've written my laws upon your heart. I've given to you my Holy Son, Jesus, so that you can be reconciled to me. I have given you all things. I've given you holy prophets to teach you about me. I've spoken to you myself. I've whispered into your heart to come home. I've offered you salvation. There is not a single soul on this planet who does not know me or my Holy Son, Jesus. Think about this, my children. Nothing is hidden. Nothing is denied to any. Every single person gets a chance to come to me. This is your choice.
This is your free will. Surrender before my Holy Son now, before it is too late. Do not get washed away in the tide of evil that is going to fall upon your planet. Do not be swept up in the tide of lies and deception that is coming upon your planet as we speak. Do not be fooled, my children. Do not follow false prophets into the darkness. Do not follow the ways of evil men into hell. Do not go to the place of weeping and gnashing of teeth. Do not listen to people who prophesy falsely, who tell you that everything's okay, it's okay to do this and it's okay to do that and that my Holy Bible is just a guide and it isn't literal. Don't believe people, my children, when they tell you lies. Go deep inside yourself. Go deep into prayer. Connect with me on a deep level, my children, and the truth will be revealed to you and to your hearts. Read my Holy Bible of old. Delve into the truth of my ways. I will anoint the words of my Bible so that they speak to you loud and clear. They are, they are food to you, my children. I want you to eat my words. Let them become a delight to your heart. Let them become health to your flesh. Confess my words of old out loud every day. Confess them over and over again. Confess my promises. Confess who you are in Christ Jesus. Confess healing scriptures over yourselves, my children if that is what you need to do. But read the Word of God aloud. Read the Word of God. Listen to it. Listen to preachers who speak the truth. There's, there's not many in your world today, my children. Unfortunately, many have gone off the way, right way. Many are falling along the wayside. Many are falling into the pits of despair. My children, separate yourself from the world now. Look after yourselves as far as your salvation. Look after your fellow man as far as their salvation, their health, their well-being. Love. Love me, my children, and love your fellow man. Love your neighbour as yourself. Give to those in need. Do not falter. Do not fall. I am right here, my children. I am a living God. I am alive. There are so many things that you do not know, that you do not understand, that you cannot see. And so you deny me over and over again. You deny your God. Oh, my children, take up your cross now and follow me. Lay down the things of the world. Lay down your arrogance and your pride. Lay down your greed and your lust and follow me, my children. Follow me into the light. Let me lift every burden off your soul. Let me love you forever. Let me give all things to you, my children. I love you. I love you so much. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will never let you down. I'm here for you always. Ask of me and it will be given unto you. Knock, my children, and the door will be opened. I will hold nothing back from those who love me. I will do not deny you, my children. I will not do you any harm. I will not cause you to sin. I will not cause you to fall. Just come to me and I will give you all things. I will be with you forever. I will hold your hand. I will comfort you. I will protect you under the shelter of my mighty wings. Oh, my children, learn to relax in me daily. Spend some time in prayer each day. Relax your flesh. Let go of all the stress of the world. Breathe in the glory of the Most High God. Breathe me in, my children. Breathe me in now. Breathe in the power of your God. Breathe in the healing power of Jesus. Let me love you, my children. Let me feel you now. Allow my Holy Spirit to come alive within you. Surrender yourselves before my holy throne. Surrender all your worries, all your concerns, all your anguish to me now, my children. Do not fear. Wash all fear off your soul. Just trust in me in all things. Trust in your God in every way. For I will never let you down, my children. 
I will never ever leave you or forsake you. I love you now and I will love you forevermore. Your Father who art in heaven. Amen.